Hey guys, for this video, we're gonna be making a 5K gaming PC. Uh, but first, I wanna thank each one of you na nag-subscribe, nag-like, nag-share, nag-comment, nang bash <laughs> sa mga videos ko guys. Finally, I have been accepted sa YouTube Partnership Program. And good luck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Malaking bagay para sa akin yan. Also, you might have noticed na walang masyadong update sa channel ko kasi some things came up and I will be talking about it on a later video. But for now, I don't wanna waste your time so let's get to build this gaming PC. Let's go! Matagal na tong mga parts na tong dumating kaso ngayon ko lang siya sinipag na i-edit. Nung time na to guys, sobrang taas ng prices ng mga GPU. So, naghahanap ako sa Shopee kung anong pwedeng bilhin na medyo cheaper. <laughs> And nakita ko tong R7 240 for only 1,300. Binili ko na kasi may latest si AMD na Fidelity Super Resolution or FSR, something like that. And I wanna see kung paano nakaka-affect yun sa older graphics card like this R7 240. So, ito yung card na nakuha ko. It's from Sapphire. It was released in 2013, uses DDR3, and I have the 1GB variant. We will be pairing it with this CPU na Athlon X4 760K. Nakuha ko ito for only 550 pesos sa Lazada. What I wanted sana is the 860K or the 870K. Kasi may nakita ko sa Ipason na system unit tapos 15K nila binibenta. So I wanna see how that performs. May extra din kasi akong motherboard na FM2 slash FM2 plus. Here are the rest of the parts na gagamitin natin sa build. I have this may medyo toyo na CPU cooler. And kailangan to kasi medyo mainit tong Athlon na ganito guys. So yun, kailangan ng medyo beefy cooler. We have two sticks, 4GB na 1600MHz RAM. And lastly, uh, isa to sa medyo alangalin na parts. Kaya hindi ko din binubuo agad tong build na to kasi uh, it's a generic 700 watt power supply and as you've known na uh, yung Athlon uses already uh, 100 watts TDP so yun if you've seen the video my video about generic power supplies then you will know why na medyo alanganin ako dito It's working. It's working, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the info of this setup. Success, guys. Gumana yung build natin. We're very happy with the build. So I wanna overclock, kaso. I wanna overclock, guys. Kaso nga delikado tong power supply natin. So, for the meantime, we're gonna be running at stock speeds. Oh, yep. And you can see CQ, ano bang pwede dito ang tignan? North Bridge, CPU clock ratio, auto at 3.8, XMP, 1600 megahertz, ah, yun lang, yun lang. And 42 degrees, temperature, Let's, yeah, let's go. Let's play some games. First up, we have GTA 5. Let's 
720p at the lowest settings and I have run the benchmark so yun we are getting close to 40 fps 40 to 45 tapos sa heavier scenes it goes below 30 pero normally uh, it averages above 30 naman so not so bad for a 5k gaming PC moving on to Dota 2 this time at 1080p with the fastest preset and direct 3d9 I am watching a rank game na nasa mid to late game and pag wala masyadong creeps uh, you will notice na we're getting frames above 60 60 average tapos pag nagka clash gaya dito sa Roshan nagda drop siya but it's still maintaining above 30 Shooter games naman tayo, Fortnite 720p, uh, system adjusted settings na lowest, I think nasa 44 to 40, 50% yung render scale. And we are getting above 30 average FPS. This is my first time playing Fortnite, so yun, medyo wala pa akong alam talaga. Medyo nahihirapan ako mag-aim sa PC na to for some reason may frame drops na nangyayari. Uh, it's not the best gameplay. But you see, nakatap 4 pa din ako kahit papano with my Kamoto PC build. Lastly, we have Valorant at 1080p all low slash off. And dito nag average tayo at 50 to 60 FPS. Not so bad. Playable siya guys. Babaan nyo na lang yung resolution to 720p for better FPS. That's the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed our mini 5K gaming PC build na... Pumapalag. Pumapalag. I cannot. That is it for our 5k PC build. Uh, ano bang masasabi ko dito sa build natin na to guys? Kung worth it pa ba siya ngayong 2021? Pang Valorant, yes. Okay lang. Pag GTA 5, kung matitiis mo yung 720p na low settings, then okay lang din. For solo play, uh, hindi siya advisable sa yung roleplay, GTA 5 roleplay. So, Valorant, yun na talaga yung best game siguro na pwede natin pag-aksayaan ng <laughs> panahon dito. Valorant and Dota 2, League of Legends, CSGO also, CSGO. Sa Fortnite, medyo pangit yung performance sa Fortnite. If you like this video, then you can please, if you can please like and comment down below. Kait anong comment lang yan, it will help the <laughs> algorithm, I guess. So yeah, see you all again, guys, on the next video. Peace.